Hey everyone, welcome to Review Time, and I am your host Islip, and I am finally doing the review I've been wanting to do for the last few weeks. Uh, sorry my lighting isn't better for this review. I haven't been able to get out and get the extra lights that I do need for some of these bigger figures that I do and stuff. So, anyway, if you haven't noticed by the title, today I'm going to be reviewing the... Um, Transformers Dark of the Moon Amazon exclusive Jetwing Optimus Prime. Now, this is the box. Oops, put some scrap on it. And I'm off to this side again because this is just going to be a big figure. Um, he has the robot mode, Jetwing mode, which is just a robot mode with the head tilted up so you can see him flying, and vehicle mode. And. To be quite frank with you, this figure was probably not going to get purchased if it was at the regular price, which is $104, because this figure should have come out, and the one that we got in the box is the wrong color, by the way. But this figure should have come out last year, or whenever it was that Dark of the Moon came out, instead of that stupid, horrible um, Ultimate Prime figure. And had this figure not been half price, I would not have picked this up, because... It's, I'm sorry, Hasbro has just been making blunder after blunder and should not be rewarded with my money for stupidity. Uh, that said, uh, the picture on the box shows the original colors of the Jetwing Prime where the backpack and everything are gray like it was in the movie. And this is what you got when you paid two or three hundred dollars online and imported it from Australia or Japan instead of in America because this, movie, this was an American movie. We should have had a, an American version of this a long time ago, but the version we got is pretty good. So, um, yeah, that's that. There's a little bio thing on the side, right, right up there. And you can see my light. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah. Suffice to say, I'm glad that I've got the, 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 the figure, but I'm not so glad that it took so damn long. So here is the figure. That is the figure. And um, if you see a boob, I apologize. Or I don't. I don't care. Um, it's hot in here. And the figure is just so damn big I have to... Yeah, so here is this what you got get in the box. Well, uh, except that the cannons are not attached... Uh, when you get them, they are... Hold on, let's get this off. They are actually separated from this part here. They're like this. Separated. You can see the nice little detail. The colors, I love the colors. I love the colors. You've got the pinkish. I guess this wouldn't make it so that if it, you know, because if it was spinning, this would get hot and it would start shooting. And you know, the, the barrel does rotate. It does, oops, sorry, rotate. Uh, you can see the little, you know, Gatling gun thingy diggers. Nice blue here going to a darker blue. Gold going down into red. This is really nicely colored. Uh, too bad the rest of the figure isn't quite as nicely, oops, colored. So, um, yeah. So there are, this is basically, to be honest with you, this is basically the Revenge of the Fallen Leader Optimus with some tweaks. Uh, this area has been changed from the way it looks. You can still do that I Am Optimus Prime thing. You grab this here. Pull it down, and then you can go like that, and he talks. I don't have any batteries in it. Um, it does not come with batteries. So, yeah. That's that's a... Well, that's a minor flub. I can deal with that. Um, let's see. What else? He comes with this giant backpack, which you can pose a lot of different ways. You can, you know, fold out the wings some. You can... Fold them down so that, you know, he's just standing, he's just standing. You know, it's pretty nice. 
It's nicely detailed. Um, this is difficult. You can see the turbines there. Nice red turbines. Awesome. And thrusters in the back, which you can move around. Um, oops. Okay. Let's move that. Oh, he's falling over. He actually is generally uh, pretty stable, but um, he the backpack does make him heavy. So actually, we can take the backpack off right now so I can focus on each part separately. See right here? Just flip it up. Just lift this up, and it pulls right off. And oops. Forgot to take that part off. Okay. So we'll pull the figure out for now. And we'll focus in on the backpack. Now the backpack is pretty awesome. Uh, shoot. Now, I did have one issue with my figure. And that this piece here, whoops, this piece here, which is, it's... It's supposed to be glued in here. It wasn't glued in there. It was separate. I crazy glued it in there and it came off just now. Um, it's to help clip this into his forearms so they stay. Or um, clip them right here for when you turn this into the truck mode thing. So you would just stick that up there and flip it in. But I just wanted to kind of just look at this thing by itself it's actually pretty nice looking um at first i thought maybe this was some uh originally before i saw the movie i thought maybe this was some kind of reworked uh jet fire bits but you know it's pretty nice pretty cool again the wings do flip out they have their silver with the blue trailer uh streak oh crap got a little scratch there um from his original G1 trailer, that's pretty nice. Uh, this part here is the same color, um, it looks like it's the same color gray as the original was. Got red detailing in here to break it up, it looks really nice. Um, see these clips here? See those right there? Those clips, those are so that you can, and they're on Optimus's arms and they actually are used during the transformation but basically you would put this in like this and that would hold it there and then you would unclip it but you can see right here this is not staying where it's supposed to go it's supposed to stay on here and yeah so if you want to slip this into Optimus's arm you just put his um, you just find the proper arm you slide his fist into here this clips into his forearm underneath and then you close it and um and he comes with the buster cannons from the um buster optimus prime the the gas tanks that do transform into a gun so we'll go ahead and do that um they they fit into they store into the thrusters which is pretty cool we'll get that out of the way now and we'll bring Prime back. And now he's got these extra bits that are part of the thrusters. We're going to take them off because we'll end up putting them on the thrusters when we transform it into transform him into um, his other mode. Now, without the thing on, he's just basically Revenge of the Fallen Prime. You can just, you know, clip these up here so that they stay and, or not if you don't want to. Um... So his forearms seem to have been uh, re redone. See, this part wasn't a part of the original sculpt. There is no swords, which is fine by me. Um, ah, there we go. Get that up. See what else has been remolded. Uh, obviously, here has been remolded, and um, oh. And here are the clips. This is where you would clip in um, the big guns. Or actually, that would go on this side. You would just take it, open this up. Let's see if I can flip that up so you can see. And then you would just, while you're putting this in, it's 
I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. It's very hard to. I don't have the proper camera angle. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. I can hardly tell. You can kind of see it a little bit. Let's see if I can get the light to be better. No, can't. Anyway, trust me, it just fits right in there. And then you just clip this into place and it holds the it holds the giant uh, whoops giant cannon like so so you can use the giant cannons without using the what should I call it and you can you know if you want to pose them you can still pose them and just take his other stuff you can transform this into his other gun let's see if I can remember how to do that I've only done this once people so bear with me uh, let's see okay that goes like so flip down and that goes like that yeah mm, yeah that goes like that and this Let's see, you flip forward. That flips forward and uh, hard to remember how I uh, how this goes. And I left the instructions in the other room, so I think that stays like so. Let me just slide this in like that. Is am I right? No, I'm not right. does go in. I do remember doing this before. Oh, okay, there we go. So it does go in like like so. And this is supposed to just go in like that. Nope. I almost I forgot something important. This which part is it that moves? There we go. That goes in like that and then this crosses over like so and it kind, of, it kind of does look like a big mess whoops and then you just take it and you put it in one of his arms and and like I was saying and then you just put it in one of his arms whichever one you can get it to fit in so, and yeah, and there he is with his buster cannon arm thing. So from this end, it looks like it folded out from his arm over here. It looks, it looks okay. It would have been better as a shinier, you know, or a darker gunmetal gray, but it'll work. It will work. And it's nice to have one. And I've already got two. Optimus is that, you know, we can, we can move this over so it's like, you know, like Optimus's chest is angry or something, you know, how it was in the movie. But, whoops, and you can fold these down however you want to. He has the same posability as he did before. So, that's that. And so we'll unplug this. We can, you can also store them right on his back here. Um, let's get this back into its little mode like so. Get it back into the gas tank mode. And... Then we have to let's see. This slides onto here. And actually that's supposed to go up like that, I 
think. I forgot how that's supposed to go. Uh, we could just leave that like that, and then this one would go. Uh, might have to partially transform it so I can get to it. I get slid onto that side right there, and then yeah. And that's pretty much it. So he's got his thingamabobbers where they're supposed to be, and yeah. He's pretty cool. He is. He's not really ever going to be in this mode because I just like have, I don't like having bits separated from other bits. So, um, let's get this out of here. We're going to turn them back into the truck mode, and I'm tempted to do this on camera because it's actually a little easier with this figure to turn them into the truck mode than the original ones just because of those extra clip points help clip things together. So um, let's take care of this part first. So we're going to plug this back together, and then we're going to clip this here so that this is like this flip this up like so I'm gonna take this and you're going to put it so that it's is it facing out or facing it let's see uh, let's see can't remember if it's facing in no so it's facing out like this and you're going to line it up. There's a tab sticking out here and there's a raised circle area. There's a hole here and a hole for a slot for the tab. I'm just going to put them together like so. And then fold this down and it'll just kind of rest there. And do the same with this one here. I believe I'm doing this the right way. If I'm not, oh well. Oops. Because I, I forgot the instructions in the living room and I don't feel like going to get them. But yeah, so you have something that looks like this. I'll get that out of the way. And then we'll just bring Prime back. And let's move the camera over some. We're going to get a little bit closer. Don't be shy. Just get a little bit closer with Arid Extra Dry. And let's zoom out. Now you take this part and you see this piece here, this goes right into that trailer hitch. And then there are, are these two things here which <sighs> just get this back situated. Sorry, just having one of them nights. But um Line it all up and plug everything in securely. There we go. And there, see, it's all secure. You can hold it up by there. I just don't suggest you do that too much. And then put the thingamabobbers back inside. Now, are you supposed to go the other way? Let's just see if I can. There we go. No, that wouldn't work. Alrighty. And now we have this massive, damn it. 
Jetwing Optimus with little bits that don't want to clip on properly and stay there. There we go. So now we have, oh, now he's too big for the picture. Which is why I had to pull it back. So now you've got this massive truck with Gatling guns on it. It's pretty cool. And should you decide to, you can make it on flying truck. Just put the wings out. And there you have a flying truck. X-Wing style. And there are mech tech ports here, 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 and here. There are 5mm clip points here, 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 and here. And probably other places too. So... Oh, yeah, and there's more clip points on the wings. So, yep, there you go. There you go. Very massive transforming toy, which actually looks pretty darn cool. It really does. And then if you want, you can put, um, you can just, you know, just to be silly, you can put other Transformers next to him or on him. You know, take Ironhide and put him back here. He could ride along or, you know, sit down on the side here and operate this Gatling gun if you'd like to. See. And uh, that's that. So I'm Islip. I love this figure. Don't get me wrong, I love this figure. I just think that he is about a year or so too late, really. Um, but for fifty dollars, he's a, he's a, he's worth the price. He's worth the price if you can get him. I and you like Optimus and you like giant wings and guns. I suggest you just you know pick him up. So that's it. I'm Islip. I've been waiting to do this review for a while now. I've been sick, couldn't do it. Glad I got to do it. Hope you enjoyed the review. And that's it. I'm out.